we bring you up to speed. Today we're shooting a big car chase sequence just like the ones you just saw for a brand new action film set in the south of France. Now all you need to know is that our hero is in the red car. He has a top secret envelope everybody else is trying to prevent him from leaving town with it. All right, Todd, how about those drivers? Ready to go? We're ready to stand by, boss. Hold on, let's roll film and slay, please. Rolling ballet chase sequence seven, eight, take one more. All right, drivers, on my countdown. Three, two, one. And Images of 
what our film camera see. Now we call this video assist because it helps us to preview what we shot before the film is actually developed. Now here's some great shots taken from the camera truck I was just riding on. Now notice how my cameraman here, Rick, was framing the action. Now folks, these cars are moving fast down here, no doubt about that. But by keeping the camera low, we can make them appear like they're going even faster. That's a technique used in a lot of car chase sequences. Hey, also, yeah. let's bring up some of the ramp shots now, please. Got it. I need the ramp footage, Jill, all of it. Thank you. Uh, all right, here we go. Here's a shot from inside one of our pursuit cars. It's our hero car up and over in reverse. Look at that. And I love that shot right here. Beautiful. Uh, hey, also, go to camera four. Freeze that hero car and mid jump. I want you to straight out, Jill. Yeah, he wants us to freeze it. Mid jump. Oh, that's perfect, Todd. That is one special car, isn't it? Sure is. You know, I was really excited when I was breaking down the script because I knew I could talk these guys into a specially designed car. And this is what we came up with. It's actually built with four forward gears, which is not unusual, but four reverse gears to really get the acceleration we needed to go backwards. Then we took the engine and mounted it directly behind the driver. This gives the car better maneuverability and better balance for all the tight turns that were asked in the script. That's right. You know, speaking of tight, it's not exactly a luxury ride on one of these vehicles. You're not going to pack up the family, or at least my family. No, I got it on the beach. It, it, it looks good from the outside, but it's pretty tight from the inside. Very, very tight. Hey, can we do a favor for these guys and show them? I would love that. Right? Bring one of the cars yeah. up. Yeah, let's do that. Bring up the girls. Here to set, go. Hero to set. Unfortunately, that was not my good bud, Kyle. Let's introduce him. All Jeff? Uh, you're a two. I'm you know, that's an urban fan. That, that is. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's extremely dangerous driving at high speeds in reverse and then taking the car and jumping it backwards. So we took our hero car, had it duplicated in every way except one. We built it so the driver faces up the back. I gotta tell you, I love your move, your style. 
nuts are absolutely amazing. Now come on, what about your leading ladies? <laughs> okay, I get the message. Now look, we got to finish setting up for the next sequence. Why don't you head over and let everybody get a good look at you. Giddy on up and go. And you guys, get your cameras ready because here comes Herbie. Yeah. <laughs> 
Alright, the scene, the scene we're shooting now actually takes place at the beginning of our film. That's where our hero, dressed in the gray jacket, has just received that top secret envelope I talked about earlier. Now we already shot this with the first unit and our star. Now we need to match it up with our stunt double. Welcome back, Mr. Kyle Butler, everybody! Get it in one take. Balls in the center over there? Yes, sir. All right, let's go ahead and roll film and slate it, please. Rolling motorcycle chain sequence three, take one more. Countdown in three, two, one, and action!
job. Well done, Isaac. Get him some air. That's right. what type of preparation is involved in getting ready for a bird like that? That's great. Uh, Jason took about 40 minutes to get, get ready here. He has five layers of clothing. His first layer is a, a fire retardant type of material called Nomex. And we put that on. And then the second material is a Nomex that's been saturated in cool gel. This gel keeps a, uh, a cool barrier between the fire and his body. And then we put a layer of padding on for obvious reasons when he's on the ground. And then we put another layer of Nomex and then his driving suit. And on top of the driving suit, we have a flappable gel that we're painting on there. And this is what ignites. It's not really his clothes, but if he would just sit there, eventually we get to his clothes. Yeah, that's right. Once that gel burns off, you know. He's, he's down and we put him out. And yes. yes, thank you, Todd. I appreciate that explanation. You know, we all go see films nowadays where stunts are enhancing the digital effects and computer graphics, mm -hmm. that sort of thing. There is nothing like doing a stunt old school just yeah. like that for that sense of realism. Folks, give it up. That's yeah. what we like, Tom. village in the south of France. I bet those cars that are driving around here don't yeah. look too familiar to you. And I want you to see one of these up close. So, uh, Todd, yes. do we have one of the cars we can spare bring down camera alley here? I just talked to Trent. He's available. Bring him out. Okay, okay. Trent, come on down.
Seeing what kind of car it is. It's an Opal Corsa.